Shazam. The world's mightiest mortal has gone through some fantastical changes of late, finally taking on the role of his magical mentor. Let's investigate Captain Marvel's amazing history. Nearly every child dreams of being a superhero. In the DC Universe, Billy Batson of Fawcett City became the child who realised that impossible dream. As an orphan, Billy was granted the powers of the mighty wizard named Shazam, and became the superhero known as Captain Marvel. Wide-eyed and optimistic, Billy made Captain Marvel the symbol for purity and positivity in the superhero community. Known as the Big Red Cheese for his colourful attire and cheerful personality, Captain Marvel is also one of the most powerful heroes in the world. Billy Batson and his sister Mary meant everything to their parents. World-renowned archaeologists Cece and Marilyn Batson. Cece and Marilyn loved their children with all of their hearts. But tragedy loomed when they travelled to Egypt on an archaeological dig where they were searching for the treasures of Pharaoh Ramses II. While there, they worked closely with a newly hired assistant named Theo Adam. Theo, seeking a jewel that held the spirit of a former champion of the Egyptian gods named Black Adam, murdered Billy's parents to claim the gem for himself. Billy and Mary were split up and put into the care of different families. Billy was placed with his father's half-brother, Ebenezer, whose feelings for the boy seemed to be the total opposite of those of his late father. Like his Dickensian namesake, Ebenezer Scrooge, Uncle Ebenezer only cared about the money and stole Billy's trust fund. With access to Billy's inheritance, a fortune, Ebenezer had no further use for the boy and threw him out of the house. Alone, with no money, no home, and no family, Billy wandered the streets, hoping only to survive the night. Billy eventually found work selling newspapers on street corners. Although the job was not lucrative, it provided Billy with enough money for the occasional meal. At night, he found refuge from the streets by sleeping in the Fawcett City subway system. Late one night, a mysterious stranger approached Billy and led him deep into the maze of subway tunnels. Billy would learn later that this mysterious stranger was the ghost of his father, who still loved his son deeply. His father's ghost and Billy boarded a strange train, beautifully emblazoned with Egyptian hieroglyphics, and father and son rode it to a mysterious cavern deep underground. Disembarking from the train, Billy found himself in a cavern lined with statues representing the seven deadly enemies of man. Pride, envy, lust, hatred, selfishness, laziness, and injustice. Billy initially found the statues frightening, but at the urging of his spiritual father, summoned the courage to walk past them, heading further into the cavern. Before long, he came across a wise-looking man, ancient in years, seated upon a throne. Directly above his head hung a massive block of stone. The wise man asked Billy to enter his throne room and introduced himself as the wizard Shazam. Billy's goodness and purity, Shazam said, had made the boy the heir to the wizard's powers. In return for this wondrous gift, Billy would have to promise to live a good life and always fight the seven deadly enemies of man. Billy gave his promise to uphold truth and justice wholeheartedly. Shazam, pleased with the boy's commitment, bestowed upon him the powers of Shazam, the wizard, the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. To access these powers, 
Billy need only speak the wizard's name, and a lightning bolt would strike. Not only would the boy have the powers of the gods, but he would also transform in appearance, becoming an adult man dressed in a red uniform and white cape, with a massive lightning bolt emblem on his crest. He would become Captain Marvel, the champion of Shazam. Yet within the champion's frame, he was effectively still a young boy. He would be a different kind of superhero, innocent, naive, but with powers superior to nearly all others of his kind. The wizard Shazam directed Captain Marvel to speak his name again, and immediately a bolt of lightning turned the adult superhero into young Billy Batson once more. However, the magical lightning bolt accidentally struck the massive stone hanging above the throne, and it fell, appearing to crush Shazam. In reality, however, the wizard had actually escaped to the Rock of Eternity, a gigantic chunk of mountain floating outside normal time and space. Shazam lived there, occasionally guiding Billy in the use of his abilities. However, the wizard felt that, in order to mature as a person, Billy should rely on his powers and learn from them. From the Rock of Eternity, Shazam became more of an observer than a mentor to Billy and Captain Marvel. Not long after first obtaining the powers of Shazam, Captain Marvel found himself face to face with the slayer of his alter ego's parents, Theo Adam. Theo had used the scarab he stole from Billy's parents to gain access to the spirit of Black Adam. The spirit possessed him, and Black Adam was reborn. Like Captain Marvel, Black Adam also had powers from the gods. The stamina of Shu, the speed of Heru, the strength of Amon, the wisdom of Zehuit, the power of Anton, and the courage of Mechen. But Black Adam had rebelled against the gods, becoming a servant of his own will and desires, and was punished for this betrayal by being trapped in the scarab. Freed by Theo Adam, the Dark Warrior had returned, with all of his powers intact. Captain Marvel fought Black Adam in Egypt, not far from the site where Theo had killed his parents, and destroyed Black Adam's amulet, briefly stripping the villain of his powers. Their fight took its toll on a nearby museum, devastating it structurally. Trapped, Black Adam faced certain death as the museum was about to collapse. However, Captain Marvel, remembering his promise to the old wizard, could not leave Black Adam to die, and rescued him. Though Black Adam would one day regain his powers, this act of mercy would never be completely forgotten. He and Captain Marvel would remain enemies, but their hatred for one another was tempered by that one. Billy Batson returned to Fawcett City, and giving up his job as a newsboy, re-enrolled at school. He found he had a great interest to broadcast journalism, and became a news anchor on the student radio station Wiz. Shortly after gaining his powers and becoming Fawcett City's protector, Captain Marvel fought alongside Superman. Marvel was in awe of the Man of Steel, and the two bonded while fighting Eclipso and the mystically created Sabbath. Tragedy soon struck, though, when the evil Dr. Thaddeus Savannah hired mercenaries to capture Captain Marvel. In the ensuing fight, Scott Oakham, Billy Batson's only real friend, was killed in the crossfire. An enraged Marvel attacked a local police station to find the person responsible. He came close to killing Dr. Savannah, only to stop at the very last moment. When Superman returned to Fawcett City to find out if his new ally had gone rogue, Captain Marvel revealed his secret identity, stunning Superman, who found it hard to believe someone so young had been granted so much power. A short while later, Superman revealed his own alter ego to Billy as Clark Kent, and for a short time became his mentor. Billy and his sister Mary had been separated following the murder of their parents. Mary Batson had lost her memory and been taken in by a wealthy Fawcett City family, the Bromfields, who eventually adopted her. She was a sweet, innocent girl and lived a sheltered life. Through a chance meeting, 
she encountered Billy Batson, who immediately recognised her as his sister. He presented Mary with a beloved stuffed animal from their childhood, hoping it would jog her memory. This didn't work. However, the toy would eventually help Mary remember who she was. Kidnappers broke into the Bromfeld home, but Mary escaped their clutches. She hid in her bedroom, holding the stuffed animal tightly. Losing consciousness, Mary travelled to a strange dimension, where she encountered her mother and the wizard Shazam. Her memory returned instantly, and Mary pleaded with Shazam to give her powers to help save her adoptive family. Shazam consented, bestowing a small portion of Billy's powers on Mary, and christening her Mary Marvel. Mary Marvel saved her family from the kidnappers, and was reunited with her long-lost brother. Billy moved in with the Bromfelds, happy to be together with his sister again. Billy and Mary learned that Mary's nanny had once had a relationship with Theo Adam, and had hidden Mary from the murderer to give her a chance at normal life. Billy had also become friends with a boy named Freddie Freeman, who had been crippled in an attack by Captain Marvel's enemy, Captain Nazi. Desperate to save his friend's life, Captain Marvel gave Freddy a small portion of his powers, making Freddy Captain Marvel Jr., or CM3, as he preferred to be known. Because of his tremendous success as the protector of Fawcett, Captain Marvel was invited to join the Justice League of America. He fought alongside the legendary heroes of the League, like Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, and against terrifying galactic threats such as Darkseid and Brainiac. Although technically as powerful as these greats, Captain Marvel often felt inadequate. Mentally and emotionally still a boy, he was often intimidated by the reputations Superman and the others had attained. He took a strong dislike to Guy Gardner, a Green Lantern. After leaving the Justice League, Captain Marvel heard that his arch-enemy, the now-reformed Black Adam, had joined the Justice Society of America. Captain Marvel also became a member, to keep a watchful eye on his old enemy. As part of the team, Marvel found himself facing the Ultra-Humanite, who used the aging hero Johnny Thunder to steal the extra-dimensional creature that had once been the source of Johnny's powers. With the creature under his control, the ultra-humanite not only took over the world, but changed reality itself, so many of the heroes fell under his control. As a member of the Justice Society, Captain Marvel was forced to fight corrupted versions of the Justice League before using his amazing strength to defeat the ultra-humanite, with his fellow team members helping to restore reality. Following an attack by Black Barracks, Captain Marvel found himself trapped in ancient Kandak, Black Adam's homeland, fighting alongside Adam's ancestor, Teth Adam. During this ferocious conflict, Vandal Savage was trying to build an empire and had an army supporting him. Marvel learned of his foe's tragic history. Teth Adam's family had been killed by Akton, a metamorph who had allied himself with Vandal Savage. Captain Marvel and Black Adam helped defeat Savage, but the only way for Captain Marvel to return to his own time was to sleep in a magical sarcophagus and be welcomed by Black Adam in the present day. Whilst the two could never be considered friends, Captain Marvel found himself with a newfound respect for Black Adam. Unfortunately, it was respect that was soon shattered. Black Adam formed his own team of superpowered heroes and invaded his homeland of Kandak, freeing the country from its dictator. During the invasion, he encouraged Marvel's Justice Society teammate, Atom Smasher, to kill the country's dictator. The Justice Society invaded to stop Black Adam, only to find themselves in a fight they couldn't win. The people of Kandak worshipped Black Adam. He was their liberator, and they fought alongside him against the Justice Society. The fight eventually ended in a stalemate, with Captain Marvel brokering a deal which left Black Adam in charge of his homeland, but promising never to set foot outside the country. Black Adam had tried to use the demon Eclipso in his invasion of Kandak. Now the demon sought revenge and possessed Superman. 
Fearing the great damage that an eclipse so influenced Superman could wield upon the world, the wizard Shazam turned to the Angel of Vengeance, a superhero known as the Spectre, hoping desperately that the Spectre would free Superman of the demon's evil influence. The Spectre agreed. In so doing, however, Shazam had violated a long-standing covenant with the powerful Eclipso. Eclipso sought revenge against Shazam by taking over the mind of a woman named Jean Loring, the mentally unstable ex-wife of the Atom, Ray Palmer. Eclipso Jean hunted down the Spectre and convinced the Avenging Angel to put an end to all magic in the universe. Confused and corrupted easily because he was without a host, the Spectre agreed to Eclipse O'Gene's request and began to annihilate magic wherever it was found, on Earth and beyond. The new Eclipso invaded Kandak, wreaking destruction alongside the Spectre. Captain Marvel and his teammates returned to Black Adam's homeland, this time to help Adam against their common foes. Black Adam refused their help, however, and soon came into conflict with Captain Marvel. While the team stopped the Spectre's destruction of Kandak, this didn't end their threat. Still on a quest to destroy all magic, the Spectre sought out Shazam, who called on Captain Marvel to protect him. Shazam hoped that Captain Marvel's fight with the Spectre would at least give the wizard time to increase his own powers. Captain Marvel fought the Spectre with all his strength and power, and enlisted a group of other magically powered heroes known as the Shadow Pact as backup. But he was unable to stop the Spectre from attacking the Rock of Eternity and killing Shazam. When the Rock of Eternity was destroyed, the statues of the seven deadly enemies of man were broken, and the entities that animated them were free to roam the Earth. Captain Marvel was instantly transformed back into Billy Batson, falling from the skies where he had been fighting the Spectre. With Shazam dead, it appeared that Billy Batson's days as a superhero were over. Although temporarily depowered, Billy Batson soon discovered that he could still transform into Captain Marvel. Tragically, however, Freddy and Mary found themselves lacking the aspect of Captain Marvel's powers they'd once possessed leaving them searching for a new path in life. They struggled to find their places in the world. The members of the Shadow Pact, meanwhile, rebuilt the Rock of Eternity using their magic. Former Justice Leaguer Zatanna determined that, that before the Rock could be completely rebuilt, a new wizard needed to sit on its throne. Captain Marvel, the champion of Shazam, stepped forward and became the new wizard and holder of the powers of the gods. Taking only the name Marvel, Billy Batson remained in his adult form, but was now dressed in a white uniform with the gold lining bolt emblem on his chest. Years before, the wizard Shazam had told Billy that he had chosen the boy to be his heir, and now Billy was finally fulfilling the prophecy. For many years, young Billy Batson resisted temptation and fulfilled the promise he made to Shazam. He fought the evils of the world, the seven deadly enemies of man. He battled demons who sought to corrupt him, and defended his home from invaders who sought only to cause harm. Perhaps most nobly of all, Billy shared his great power with his sister and his best friend. He helped form a family that fought for righteous and good causes, the Marvel family, the champions of Shazam.